Welcome back everybody. So today let's do my horror collection and I'm going to do a collection for all of this and all of this and all of this uh, but I'm not going to do them all at once. I'm going to do just my horror collection because horror is specifically my first priority in terms of film. Love horror. Horror is so fun, so entertaining. Um, probably my favorite genre overall for any film. So I'm going to show you just the horror stuff today and that's because my channel also is very horror oriented. So let's start out with this with the top on my display that you see in the back, which I think I did a really cool job with. Um, these aren't horror, but I've got Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man and uh, Vulture, but these are the Funko Pops, is what I was trying to think of. And then we have my VHS tapes on display. Now I don't have every one of these films on VHS because VHSs are harder to find for horror where they cost a lot of money and I want to eventually get all the ones that are like franchises that I love, especially Halloween, especially Chucky, uh, uh, Friday the 13th, but I just haven't had a chance yet. So what I've got right here is all I've got for horror um, right here and there, and I've got a few down there. And let's start with the VHSs, horror VHSs. Halloween, and this is like probably the last released copy before, like this probably came out with this DVD copy as well, which is the same as this. I feel like this came out released at the same time. Um, and then we've got Good Times version of Halloween 2, which the cover art is really shitty, but I still kind of like it. I think that's kind of cool. And, yeah, see, it's just kind of, it's not, it's universal, but they had this Good Times company, which gave, which they, it was like an off-brand thing. For some reason they did that, I don't understand why. And this tape was released in 96, so I'm not sure why they did that. And then this is technically a comedy, but I put my Carpenter movies together, so Memoirs of an Invisible Man. Then for Friday the 13th, I only have Part 6, Jason Lives. Then Jason X on tape, and then Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. And these are the ones that have the back cover, so like it'll become, it'll show Freddy on the back if you have all the tapes. And then Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, and this is not the same as these. Like it, it doesn't have like the Freddy on the side. It's another release. Then Freddy vs. Jason. Then Bride of Chucky, which is a recent tape edition, which is really cool. One of my favorite horror movies. I've got to have Bride of Chucky. And then, let's show off my horror NECAs. Michael Myers. Really incredible. Love that. I love that they finally put out a Michael Myers NECA. I need to fix the knife because my, I live next door in a quadplex and somebody banged on the wall. Michael fell over and, dr and this thing broke. So, thanks a lot, neighbors. I have to glue that soon. And then we've got Jason from Friday the 13th, the final chapter, uh, with Pamela's grave, his mask, his machete in his head with a knife. That's really cool. Oh, and also, uh, Michael Myers had the pumpkin and Judith Myers gravestone. And then Friday the 13th, part five, Jason, Jason, because it's the dream version of Jason, because Jason isn't the killer in part five. But regardless, they're going to make a Roy figure this year, so that's still awesome, but I but I really like that we get both of Jason and a Roy from Part 5, even though we should get Roy first. And the artwork, it's so cool that we've got that artwork. That's incredible. I love that image. Um, and Jason, I decided to put the axe on him. And it's also, he's also weather-worn, like from his grave, like a man of the grave. Then there's his gravestone. Then here's Part 6, Jason lives with his machete, with his gravestone. And then Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, with Freddy and his baby dogs, which is really cool. And then let's continue on with the tapes. Um, I have Scream, Scream 1, Scream 2, I Know What You Did Last Summer, Urban Legend, then Final Destination 1, Horror Express, Blood and Black Lace, and then Hellraiser 1, which is a really cool artwork, and then Phantom of the Opera. And... Before I go down here, I'll show you the couple of tapes I've got up here that's horror. I'm not going to show this whole thing right here, but um, I have Body Double. Then the collection of, of uh, Hannibal Lecter. So I've got Manhunter, Silence of the Lambs, and then Hannibal. Which, uh, okay. Um, and then down here, this is t kind of horror, I guess, but Jurassic World 1 and 2. 
then we have uh, the Terminator and Terminator 2 pretty cool and then the Watcher uh, starring Keanu Reeves and James Spader and Marissa Tomei and then the Sixth Sense and those are the only horror other horror movies I've got over in this row now let's continue on with the Blu-rays and DVDs which is a lot so my crowning achievement is the Halloween box set the full 15 disc box set which is so cool that artwork is incredible and that right there of him right there is awesome so we've got I'm not gonna open it all but we have the first uh, 10 movies so all incredible all in their own cases as opposed to the cheaper version of this so love that that's one of the coolest things I own I, I, like I love this box set watched it used watched it so many times and then we've got Halloween 2018 this awesome ass steelbook really incredible I love that steelbook then I have another version of Halloween 2 that has Terror in the Isles, um, a full movie documentary on horror movies from 1984. Um, so it shows all the it shows clips from every horror movie basically that was big before 1984. And then we got the Scream Queen double feature, which I actually regret buying because this version does not have any special features for either of these movies. So I want to buy the single disc versions of The Fog and The Howling because this does not contain any special features. It's just the movies, which is really shitty because I love hearing commentaries. I love seeing behind the scenes, and this has nothing. So I learned my lesson this time. So I'll get those eventually in their full forms with special features. And then we've got The Thing, which is the regular Universal copy. It's not like the Scream Factory one, which I want. And then we have Scream Factory's Prince of Darkness. Steelbook, really badass steelbook. That is incredible. Um, love that steelbook. And then In the Mouth of Madness, awesome. The Ward, and then Suspiria, the only Argento movie I actually own. Then Psycho One, and then this is Get Out. It's just up here because I. It's just the uh, slip cover because I'm letting somebody borrow it. So I do own that. It's just up here. And then Psycho 2, Scream Factory Edition, badass. Psycho 3, awesome. And then the Psycho Remake, Scream Factory Edition. And then the Alfred Hitchcock Collection, which I won't name all these movies, but there are 15 horror movies in this movie in this collection that he did that were that are owned by Universal, so awesome. Then we have the Scream Factory Edition of Child's Play 1. Then we have the Chucky six movie collection not the seven movie collection this only goes up to curse but this is still a badass copy like i love this edition that is so cool and then cult of chucky and then the friday the 13th first eight movies it's not the complete collection because of course different rights but the first eight and then we've got friday the 13th the nightmare remake then freddy versus jason then we have crystal lake memories which is if you are not, if you are a fan of Friday the Thirteenth and have not seen this movie or seen this documentary that is six, seven hours long, it is your right as a fan to watch this. This is one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. They get as many people as they can who wanted to be interviewed, as many clips, as many special things they could find, like behind the scenes photos. They did everything to make this one of the best documentaries ever made for one of my favorite franchises. If you have not seen this, it is a damn shame. Go and see this documentary. It is incredible. Just go out and see it. Um, and then I've got the Scream 5 film set, which is kind of deceiving because it has Scream 1, 2, and 3, and then these two film like documentaries. They're not technically films. They're just documentaries. And then Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw 1, Texas Chainsaw 2, Badass Artwork, Scream Factory, Texas Chainsaw Remake, then The Strangers, uh, Scream Factory, Strangers Pray at Night, Happy Death Day, The Burning, again, badass artwork, Sleepaway Camp 1, 2, and 3. And I love these movies. Those are, the first two in, in particular are incredible. I like the third one fine. And then Silent Night, Deadly Night, again, badass artwork. They really go out with these artwork for Scream Factory movies. And then Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, so cool. Then Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. Again, incredible artwork. I'm going to keep saying that. Just like with Hell Knight, incredible artwork. And then Final Destination 5. 
It Follows, great. Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. King Kong 1. And this also has, like, the original cover underneath it. If I can do it while I'm holding this camera. But it's just got the original King Kong artwork underneath it. And then we've got King Kong Escapes. Finding a giant Mecha Kong. And then the King Kong remake, the second remake in 2005. And then Kong Skull Island. Then Godzilla 2014. Jaws. Jurassic Park 1 through 3. Jurassic World. Predator. AVP 1 and 2. Prometheus. Then Alien Covenant Steelbook. Awesome. Really love that. That's an incredible picture back there. And then Alien Anthology, the first four. The first four Terminators, Terminator Anthology. Uh, Terminator Genesis. 10 Cloverfield Lane, one of my favorite movies ever. Love that movie. Quiet Place. Insidious. Annabelle Creation. Annabelle. Conjuring 1. Conjuring 2. Ouija 1 and, 1 and Ouija Origin of Evil. The Exorcist Collection. The complete anthology. So it, it has Exorcist 1, 2, 3, and 4 and 5, which are technically like the same story, but they're made by different directors with the same main actor. Weird. But it has all five of the movies. And then I've got the Scream Factory edition of Exorcist 2 The Heretic, because I love that movie. Have to have that. Exorcist 3, love that too, so I have to have that. And this also has the uh, the actual cut that they made later called Legion, which was the original cut of the movie, but they added in scenes, which are not high quality, but it makes an incredible different alternate viewing watch, because this there's a very drastic difference between this and the actual director's cut. Like, it's really worth it if you are a fan of this movie. This is incredible. Um, and then It, Hereditary, The Witch, Nocturnal Animals, Saw 1 through 7, I don't have part 8 yet, and then Evil Dead 1, 2, Army of Darkness, Evil Dead Remake, Drag Me to Hell, badass artwork, carry with a cover, like it's not the actual cover, it's like stuck on there, it came from Walmart, Black Swan, need, need to review Black Swan, I love that movie, and also love Mother, then Misery, and then I'm going to kind of go over here for a second. The Game, really underrated. Love Michael Douglas in that movie. Sounds of the Lambs with the cover over it. Then Clockwork Orange, Seven. Gone Girl, Fargo, Unbreakable, and Split. And then going down here, we have some Halloween DVDs. I do not own all of them yet, but I, will want, I do want to. I found these at pawn shops for like $2 each, so I had to buy all of these. But I do not have all of them yet. Um, I have them all on Blu-ray, but just not on DVD and VHS yet. But I plan to con collect them all. So, one copy of the original. Halloween 3. Halloween 4. H2O. Resurrection. Uh, 25 Years of Terror, which is a really cool documentary that... It's kind of hard to find now. I found it for six bucks at like a, at like a local vintage place. So that is really cool. And this is a lot of Carpenter right here. So sold on Precinct 13. Love it. The Fog. Escape from LA. Don't own, don't own Escape from New York, funny enough. But I own this one, which isn't as good. But I bought this cheap because I had not seen Escape from LA before. So that's why I bought it. And then the six movie collection, which is... Got Big Trouble Little China in it, which is the Carpenter one, but it also has Romancing the Stone, 95, Raising Arizona, Jewel of the Nile, and War of the Roses. And then this Undead collection, which has John Carpenter's Vampires, 30 Days a Night, Fright Night, Bram Stoker's Dracula, and The Covenant. And then a DVD copy of Psycho 2, 3, um, the remake, a four-pack, with that shitty Bates Motel movie that nobody knows about that came out in 1987 that was supposed to start a TV show, which it was so god-awful and nobody cared that it exists, but it's awful. And then we have another badass collection, Alfred Hitchcock collection, DVD collection. Um, and the only one that I have a double of is North by Northwest because that's on that Blu-ray up there in that collection. But this one contains Foreign Correspondent, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Suspicion, Stage Fright, Strangers on a Train, I Confess, Dial In for Murder, The Wrong Man, North by Northwest, and I like a majority of these. And then Hitchcock, the 
uh, reenactment with all these current modern actors, which is a really good and underrated movie. Go see it. And then a copy of Child's Play 1, a copy of Sea to Chucky, a copy of Ch uh, Child's Play 2 through 5, um, C 2 through Sea to Chucky. And then here's the Friday the, th the 13th collection. Now, you will notice that with these original uh, releases, I do not have parts 1 or 4 three yet because the pawn shop I went to had all of these but they just didn't have part one or part three which is a shame so I need to find those just to complete the collection but I have part two part four five with really crappy artwork part six with really crappy artwork because that's Tina from part five doesn't make any sense and then part seven that's actually pretty cool and then part eight crappy artwork again and then we've got the deluxe edition, so we got parts one through four with all special features. Part five, part six, part seven, part eight. Way better artwork. And then a three pack with Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, Freddy vs. Jason remake. His name was Jason, which is another um, documentary that is good, but it's definitely not as good as the Crystal Lake Chronicles or Crystal Lake Memories, which is one of the best documentaries ever. This is just a precursor to it, where they even have interviews in that other one. So this one's good, it's fine, and it's worth watching, but it's not as good as the other one. It's still good, though. And then Nightmare 1 through 4, Nightmare 5 through 8, Remake, Scream 2, Scream 4, Shocker, uh, Funhouse, Phantasm 2, Serpent and the Rainbow, and S and then Curse, Last House on the Left, My Soul to Take, and a movie that I didn't even get used was A Perfect Getaway. I got the other two movies, but they didn't have the disc for this, so it was a ripoff. But regardless, Last House on the Left, the remake was worth it, because I, I really like that movie a lot. And then, Texas Chainsaw, Next Generation, love that artwork, it's so cheesy and bad. Um, Texas Chainsaw 3D. Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. The Strangers Walmart cover. Orange. Really cool cover. I love that cover. Then Silent Night, Deadly Night, parts 3 through 5 with the most misleading picture ever where there's no Killer Santa in any of these movies. But there's a Killer Santa on the cover. Whatever. But still, it's they're, they're entertaining. Um, part 4 and 5 anyway. 3 is a piece of shit. And then we've got the remake, pseudo-remake, Silent Night. Then some Jamie Lee Curtis, Terror Train, awesome. And then Prom Night, part one, two, and four. This does not contain part three, but whatever. Um, and then we've got Cheerleader Camp, really underrated slasher, really fun. Happy birthday to me, love the artwork again. My Bloody Valentine and April Fool's Day, and then the remakes of both. Then the Black Christmas remake, then the I Know What You Did Last Summer trilogy, trilogy, um, and then Urban Legends Final Cut, Urban Legends Bloody Mary, Final Destination 1 through 4, Trick or Treat, Ice Cream Man and Jack Frost 2, then Hellraiser. It says it's the collection, but it has part three to like, um, part three to Hell World. So it's like three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. But not the first two, not the good ones. And then Cabin in the Woods, Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2, Devil's Rejects, Lords of Salem, and then a really incredibly underrated movie, Magic with Anthony Hopkins. Love that movie. Everybody go see it. It's it's slow for modern audiences, but it is still incredible. I love that movie. Then the Puppet Master Collection, which is Puppet Master 1 through 9. Um, fun. And then we've got Demonic Toys, Dollman, and Dollman versus Demonic Toys. Then Dead Silence. Awesome. The Fun House. Phantasm 1 through 5. Then Wrong Turn 1 through 6. Then The Fly, love The Fly, need to review that. Uh, American Werewolf in London, love that one too. And then we start with my, vamp my uh, vampire, like werewolf collection, um, and uh, Universal Monster collection. So we've got Interview of the Vampire, Tom Hanks. Or I mean, uh, not Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise, forgive me. 
And then the Lost Boys, one through three, and Queen of the Damned. And then Christopher Lee Dracula's, awesome. I love that picture right there, that's so funny. Then the Universal Dracula collection, Universal Frankenstein collection. Then the Mummy collection, uh, the originals. The Wolfman collection, Creature from the Black Lagoon collection. And then we've got a four pack. And I don't have Invisible Man collection and that's all I need to complete it, but I will get it eventually. Then the Scorpion King, then Van Helsing, then the Wolfman, King Kong and Son of Kong, King Kong vs. Godzilla, King Kong 76, King Kong Lives, which is the sequel to the 76 version, then a DVD copy of 2005, then Jaws, uh, the last three, then Cloverfield, Mulholland Drive, really underrated, love that movie. Um, Shutter Island, Event Horizon, and if you're asking why I don't own Omen 1 and 2, it's because I just got these because I had not seen them and there wasn't another way to watch them, so Omen 3 and Omen 4, and I will get the get the collection sometime on Blu-ray, I just don't have it yet, and then Candyman and a shitty Pumpkinhead movie, uh, Pumpkinhead 3, Ashes to Ashes, then Amityville 3D, Amityville 4, and again, those two are ones that I watched the first two and I bought these other two. Um, and then the Amityville remake. Then Poltergeist. Then Poltergeist 2. Then Sinister. Then Mama. Then The Ring. The Ring 2. The Grudge. The Grudge 2. Oculus. Love Oculus. And then... Blair Witch 1 and Blair Witch 2, Paranormal Activity 1 through 4, Carrie Remake 2013, Fear.com, here's my Stephen King collection, so Fighter Starter 1 and 2, and then a collection of The Dead Zone, Pet Cemetery, Silver Bullet, and Graveyard Shift, then Pet Cemetery 2, then Dreamcatcher, Dolores Claiborne, Cat's Eye, and Creepshow, then Sleepwalkers, then Riding the Bullet, then uh, Zombie Movies, so Dawn of the Dead, the Dawn of the Dead remake, Land of the Dead, Survival of the Dead, which is awful, um, 28 Days and 28 Weeks Later, incredible, um, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, Shyamalan, Signs, The Village, Lady in the Water, The Happening, then Hannibal Rising, Red Dragon, uh, Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal, Fear, Jacob's Ladder, Sleeping with the Enemy, The Good Son, The Hitcher, Joyride 1 and 2 and 3, and then we've got this little, all these little four packs. So 7, Heat, Insomnia, and Devil's Advocate, all awesome. Gothica, Queen of the Dam, Dreamcatcher, and Ghost Ship, and Critters 1 through 4. Then Copycat, Dabalik, and um, The Crush in Pacific Heights. Then Once Bidden and Vampire's Kiss, The Puppet Masters, Donald Sutherland, uh, Slither, Shaun of the Dead, The Wicker Man, and this isn't horror, but I'm going to say these. Tarantino Grindhouse with Planet Terror and um, Death Proof, and then the Tarantino Collection, Eight Movies, Django, Steelbook. And then a Eight and Stranger Things. And then a couple tapes over here. I'll talk about those Pokemon ones in another video. But The Mummy, The Mummy Returns, The Exorcist 1, Exorcist 2, It, uh, Older It, Sleepy Hollow, The Grudge, The Haunting, Blair Witch Project, End of Days, and Predator. And that is my horror collection. So I will do my other collections later of the other movies, but... That's too much to say. With all that I just said, I feel like I'm out of breath already. So I'm going to do it in parts and talk about other movies that are not horror. But of course I had to do horror for horror first for uh, for my channel. So that is my horror collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me down below what you think of my collection. And again, thank you so much for watching.